and welcome back to the week of what ifs the first ever week of what ifs and we are on to day three it's still wednesday i'm getting this out on time i didn't get around to recording it particularly because this one this particular one as you clearly read this one took actually for the first time in a long while took me actually having to write down information a lot of time i can do this off the top of my head and remember the majority of what i'm talking about this one I actually had to I have to write information down so I remember my talking points so I remember the information from the past and so forth and so on. So this one comes to us from uh, Sinal and I might I'm probably butchering this name. I'm sorry. I wrote it down so I know how to spell but pronunciation. Yeah. But um, Sinal it's here Sne Snehal or Sin Snip S N I E H A L. So. Sh Snehal Desi, or Desu, I think it's Desi, so Sne Desi, sorry about that Sne, because he also gave me a couple other ones I'll eventually get to as well, but they they asked the question, what if nobody knew Naruto was a Jinjuriki, what if nobody knew he had the Nine Tails Fox basically sealed in inside of him, now, Here's the real issue with that. From the way basically Naruto plays out, particularly because we actually saw the whole the night in the manga of when the fox released, that's technically an impossibility for no one to know. Because we know the third the third knows. That that that's all like almost consistent all the times that the third no, third knows. He was there, he saw it happen. So we have to amend it somewhat. We have to do at least a little bit of the leeway, like basically saying that the vast, vast majority of the characters in Naruto, the civilians, most of our, you know, side characters, main characters, whatever, they don't know who that Naruto has a fox in them. Only in this scenario are three people going to know. The third Okage is going to know. Kakashi's gonna know for for reasons that are gonna be revealed very soon, and Jiraiya will know for reasons that are kind of uh, all basically all three of these individuals have a connection to Minato, his dad, a fourth Okage. One was his student, one was his teacher, and one is a third Oka a previous Okage. Third Okage was also present when Naruto had his box sealed in him, so it makes sense why he'd know. Why Kakashi knows? Well, obviously being the being the father or being the student of the fourth okage uh as their close relationship and further things that are going to happen in the scenario makes that given and similar to jiraiya so without further ado let's get on with it so naruto is sealed the third takes him in so what's really different is there's no council meeting in this instead of bringing you know naruto forth and basically like having a meeting with the council saying this child has the fox in him now what are we going to do he says, no, the best thing for Naruto is to grow up with not knowing this for the time being, or not growing up as normal as possible, and that means no one can know what has happened. So he makes up a lie saying the fox was, you know, the, uh, Kushina was killed, so the fox has been, dis uh, been dissipated, will take some time to reform, maybe several years he lies, it lies about it, so now they lost their jer jerky, or so they think. So, okay, you know, whatever. <clears throat> So now we so that begs the question: What happens to Naruto? I feel that Kakashi uh, he would uh, he would let um, he, there's two options. One, there is put him in an orphanage and just let him be adopted. Now, luckily, given the fact that he's no one knows about his status, uh, that would probably she wouldn't be very hard. But he does call Kakashi and Jiraiya. Jiraiya luckily comes in pretty quickly, uh, and Kakashi steps in and he asks these two tells these two that these are the only two who know. The, the, all the seals are up, everything like that in the office. This is Naruto. He is the son of your of your student, of your uh, sensei. He is Minato's son. And they're both like, they survived and say, he is also, I, I lied to the council too. He is the new uh, the new Jinchiriki for the Ninetale Fox. He holds the Kyuubi inside him. Uh, no one can know this, not even Naruto, until the time is right, until you feel it's, you know, we feel it's proper to tell him. Uh, so, but he needs to be raised now. I mean, we could raise him in an orphanage, or I, one of you can take care of him. You know, Jiraiya, Jiraiya is his godfather, legally, so, I mean, what, but Jiraiya also has a spy network. 
Uh, that was another what if I think I got asked at one point. What if Dryo was at a raised Naruto? Or I think that was just another one I was going to do. I'll do that at a different time. A uh, long way down the line because the Naruto ones are a lot. There's a lot. See, when the Dragon Ball ones, there's a, the plot is vast but simple. <laughs> Naruto, there's a lot of dip, dips and bobs, uh, bobs and weaves. To a point where this is probably going to be a very long multi-part uh, what if. Just given the actual length of the Naruto series. And, and I'm probably going to stop it off of... I'm not going to go into the Boruto movie because I honestly haven't, haven't watched the Boruto movie. But regardless. So Kakashi actually thinks on it and looks at Naruto and sees so much of his sensei, his former master, and this father figure after his father killed himself in him that he says, You know what? I'm going to take this. Ki I'm going to take him under my wing. I'm going to I'm going to raise him. Uh, I'm going to take his like, You sure, Kakashi? I mean, you're only... I think Kakashi's... He's 20. I've seen the official name or um, ages. So he's 26 by the time of the original series. Naruto is 12, going on 13. He's not 13 yet when they graduate. I know that graduated at 12, which that's a different kettle of fish altogether about the whole graduation thing. It says he failed three times, but does that mean everyone else in that class failed three times? And that that makes no sense. I would theor and how many times are you allowed to take the class? Uh, how many times is there a graduation exam? Does that mean that Naruto has been in the academy for like three years and then graduated and he failed their death? Or there's, I, I, I it, it makes it, it comes that see that's a big plot hole to me. It's like ah, uh, they don't explain that. So does that mean that he should theoretically be more like fifteen years old or something like that? Anyway, I digress. Um, so Kakashi agrees to raise him. Uh, you know, the the, th uh, the third would give him, uh, you know, a certain amount of a certain amount of living expenses, some time off uh, from the Anbu missions, or just being normal um, shinobi. He would probably actually just grow downgrade to normal Jonin after that point, and Kakashi would be raised. Him. Luckily, he would also have the amazing my guy, the village's green or no, he's the Blue Beast. Uh, uh, Rock Lee's the Green Beast. The magnificent Blue Beast of Hindley Village. So, basically for the next five, and I'm putting it at five years right now, for the next five years, Kakashi would be raising Naruto. Uh, he, luckily, he would also have Jonin and his, you know, Jonin friends and colleagues that come in periodically and, you know, help him out. So, individuals like Azuma, like Guy, Keep guys he's close with, you know, family or friends, and probably some of the uh, Kanoichis too. Uh, Kuranai was not; it was only a Jonin very recently. Like by the start of the series, she'd actually made it to that level, so she wouldn't be there yet. Though you could argue, say that maybe they hired her for babysitting money when she was younger. So maybe that's a mission. Um, babysitting Kakashi's kid. Um, oh, one second, puppy, you need to go outside. Sorry, you. It's dark and scary out there. Um. So you yeah so a, a flock and a, a select group of people. none of these people know that Jira, uh, that uh, Naruto is the Nine Tails container though. Dry would also be stopping in every now and then just to check up in on his godson. Uh, and, you know if when young Naruto is like why not if you're my godfather why can't and he's like oh, it's like oh <laughs> it's like uh, uh no well, actually no he wouldn't know um. At this point, I imagine at some point Jiraiya and Kakashi, probably when he felt he's old enough, at least when he hits like getting ready to go into the cab, would tell him that he is actually adopted and uh, things along those lines. Not necessarily who his father is, because that was kept a secret for some reason. But I think it's because of enemies and stuff like that. But Naruto would grow up, and he'd have a lot of these influences on him, and he would he would be he would be more or less the same. I do believe that that personality that you see in Naruto is ge generally who he is. He's very bright, he's very exuberant, he's very jovial, he's very he likes that he's fun, love very much enjoying life. He is a bit of a prankster, but he wouldn't be anywhere near the level of prankster he is in the series because that was designed or designed. For him, that was to get attention, just for people to notice him. And this one, people just generally like him. He's he's a, just a fun kid. He can be a little annoying, but what kid can't be? Especially at the age of five. Uh, he's also definitely a lot smarter than people give him credit for. He's got a bit more um, wit and cunning to him. So he's not going to be. He's not a brainiac or genius, but he's definitely a bit more a bit more clever. Also, around age five, Kakashi is not going to start him any real ninja training. Let's say. 
actual ninja training at this point because he's only five, but he's going to start him on some basic uh, chakra control and things along those lines. Uh, just because he knows that Naruto's chakra is going to be a big issue. Um, so, it, basically at the age five, Naruto starts making some friends. He's probably, probably some of his first initial friends would definitely be Choji or Shikamaru. Uh, Shino, Shino's just very socially awkward compared to some of the other ones. He's very quiet and very, um, introverted. So that, he wouldn't initially make a friend of Shino. Um, no, nor would he make a friend of Sasuke, definitely not Sakura, because, or, Hina, or Ino, at least not initially. Again, these are before they go into the academy. Hinata, he, they, he met Hinata before they were in the academy, so I think Hinata would actually be a, it would, it would be a very good I, uh, idea. Very, very likely that he would befriend Hinata, because unlike, uh, like, say, when you saw Naruto the last, if he, like, defend her from bullies... There's no stigma against him at this point, so they would just go and it was like, oh, you know, be friends with Hinata. Now, that father, her father would still be strict and a dick and all that, but um, at least outside uh, of uh, classes, they would definitely be not not like super close friends because they're five. But that's when the crush Hinata has on Naruto starts. Now, does Naruto pick up on it? Probably a lot quicker than he did in uh, in the original series because it took all the way to the last Naruto Marvel's the last movie for that to happen. But it, I mean, great, it'd still probably be a while because he's still relatively dense in that field. But you know, then cut to now. Here's the thing: I made my argument about the plot hole about the structure of the academy years. We're going to assume three years and then graduation exams. We're going to go with that assumption. Um, so. Naruto at age nine, or close closing at age nine, going into the academy, Kakashi would actually start putting putting him uh, through stronger chalk uh, exercises. He'd also be teaching him some hand to hand fighting, nothing serious because he's a kid, but some hand to hand fighting. He knows Naruto is very quick on his feet and able to think on the fly, which will be very useful to think, putting someone off guard. Standard weapons training, things along those lines, uh, and. Basically, at that point, I think he, when he fe realized Naruto was about to go to Ninja Cannon, he would have a, see, a talk with him and explain, um, you know, as his dad. Because at this point, I would imagine Kakashi has really felt like, you know, you, you might have been my dad, my sensei's son, but to me, you're my boy. You're my boy. You're my, you're my son. So, you know, he would do, he, he would probably take off his mask, which I'm sure he, Naruto has seen his dad without his mask at this point. By the way, his name is Naruto Uzumaki Hatake. <laughs> Um, and you know he would talk to Naruto, and it, it, Jiraiya would. I think Jiraiya would be there too. They would want to have the nice little graduation ceremony, but say there's something we need to talk to you about. It's like, and then explain to him a that you know your father was a great your your biological father's a great man, and that you know you're a stealer of the QB. So with uh, dealing with the first part of that, Naruto would probably be. Definitely, like you're not my real dad. It's like to me, you're always gonna be my. You will always be my son. Yeah, I might not. I, you, I might not have, have been your biological dad, but you are always gonna be my son. And, I, and nothing's ever gonna change that for me. And you know, Naruto just hold his dad. And what's the other thing you're gonna talk about? And then Jiraiya and him are both gonna have a much grimmer look on their face. Like, yeah, they're gonna explain this as a like, you are the you know the fox. The you know, fox is not out. The fox is still in the village. Where is it? It's like, and there's like I'm a monster. It's like no, you are you are Naruto Uzumaki Hitake. You are my son. You know, no matter what you know, I just says yeah, you do not uh, and basically go through the whole says you're not the you're not the beast. You're the jailer. And eventually it's gonna uh, it's, uh, they'll do the whole analogy where it's like, well, you see this kunai? It's like yeah. It's like you see this? I just sealed it in there. And they just throws a, the scroll at Naruto and say, what did you do? I was like, why did you hit me with the scroll? I didn't hit you with the scroll. I hit you with the kunai. No, you didn't hit me with the scroll. Oh, you hit me with the scroll. No, I, I, I put the kunai in there. I hit you with the kunai. No, you didn't. You sealed the kunai in there. It doesn't make it. And then just clicks Naruto right there. It's like, ah. Oh. So you see, see, you're not the fox. Uh, and then, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll just have some a laugh after a while. And it's like, I'm not the fox. Yay. And then good times. So they're going to go into the academy. Naruto's going to go into the academy. Everyone will be, all his friends will be there, Hinata, Ch uh, Shikamaru, Choji, and pretty much going to be Naruto in the academy. There's not much else you can go around with that. Naruto, now, in terms of social interaction, I do believe Naruto would befriend uh, Shino after a while, because Hinata's, Hinata's friendly nature towards Shino would help 
bring Shino into the group, and they'd probably make peace and friends. Hinata would also be a lot more open. She would slowly lose her timidness. She'd slowly lose her stutter, being around Naruto and more people more often, gain more confidence. I think her dad would also see this, too, because Naruto gives her the strength to continue on. And, you know, she is like, as I, my, it's like Naruto, Naruto, and it's like Naruto. It's like yes, Naruto gives me the strength to be better than I am. Even if I fall, I'll keep getting back up. That's my ninja way. And then, you know, Hashi for the first time in a long time, she's like, my what has gotten into her? <laughs> I was like, mm, it's Naruto, Naruto Hatake. <laughs> I was like, yes. I was like, oh, Kakashi's boy. Interesting. And you know, so that will happen. I think while he doesn't befriend Eno, he's on decent terms with Eno. Uh, I mean, Eno is definitely loud and obnoxious, but she's not violent like Sakura got in the beginning. Uh, or Sakura was in the beginning. Sakura, for the most part, is still Sakura. Granted, she's not as bad towards Naruto, because Naruto was never... Uh, isn't trying to win her over because before he really did that mostly for attention. I think he explained that in the last movie. That was more because she was the one who would give him attention. Now he's actually has friends and things along those lines. And hell, there's a girl in the group that doesn't treat them that way. Even Eno's not that bad. So initially when she acts kind of mean, hostile towards him, actually, honestly, because he's trained by Kakashi, he can avoid it pretty easily. Just when he's like, whoa, and he's like, huh, it's like, yeah, yeah. And, you know, he's still dodging. Why are you trying to hit me? And then he just flips her over and just puts her on her back. Just, what What just happens? Like, come on. <laughs> it's like, Sakura. And I can actually see Ir Iruka actually yelling more at Sakura in these scenarios than Naruto, because she's theoretically starting it. <laughs> so I can actually see that happening. And I think, and here's the thing, I actually don't think Naruto pays Sasuke much mind. I mean, in terms of, like, sparring matches, he's probably the best, like, match Naruto gets. And Sasuke's going to be imp actually more impressed with Naruto because he gets actual legitimate training from Kakashi. And he's a bit more spontaneous, which actually puts Ilya Sasuke on his toes somewhat. There's a guy, I can imagine there's a cut they would, uh, I'd imagine Sasuke would still be the overall better of the two. But if you're talking about like a 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 matches, I actually see Naruto maybe even winning a couple because, again, he's more spon uh, spontaneous. He's more, um, oh God, spontaneous, why spontaneous? No. <sighs> anyway, uh, he's more quick on the fly and cunning and quick and, uh, and why am I blanking on that word? It's not, is it spontaneous? No, spontaneous? Spontaneous, I think is the word. I'm probably butchering. Why am I blanking on that word? Um, anyway, he, he's basically, he can he's more adaptive. He, he just changes his follow-up if he need, really needs to. But again, I, out of 10 matches, I actually see Naruto maybe like winning two out of every 10 matches. So one in five, which actually someone in the class actually can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sasuke sometimes, which impresses Sasuke as well as his fan club. I also, but I all, overall, I don't see, and I, and I think for that, they all, like, you know, be kind of at each other for a little bit, but I don't see uh, much else coming from that. I do see him, however, because of Kiba's alpha dominance and, 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 just, and just his flirting, you know, uh, loud bashness, um, or a loud boastfulness. I do see Naruto wanting to sometimes what, put him in his place a bit, so he and Kiba will probably start a pretty solid rivalry with each other, whereas Sasuke kind of is just the guy who, and Naruto would probably be beating him the majority of the time. Uh, also, I should note that during this time, Naruto would be learning some of the basic ninjutsu now. He would be learning, Kakashi would be upping his, his training. And he knows transformation, substitution, that comes easy to Naruto, not much issue. Naruto would also be pretty uh, good at the tree exercise, tree chakra, tree chakra, bleh, tree chakra control exercise. The water one still needs a lot of work because still he's young, not a war, not a big deal. But he notices that the clone, the clone jutsu is just too finesse for him. He just doesn't have that level of control. So he actually figures out that the counter to that. He shows him the other jutsu. He shows him the shadow clone jutsu. It's like, you know, you're going to probably have to know the clone jutsu to pass the test. So, just in case. And just in case. Well, luckily, you know, unfortunately, you can't learn the clone jutsu. Your, your chakra control just sucks. And that's an illusion anyway. Genjutsu is out of your range. But I got a different clone jutsu for you. So, he shows it. It's like, this actually, ma or this actually makes you, uh, it makes a solid clone. Cool thing about this is, like, boom. 
uh, is that, uh, it's, uh, you know, go out there and then, boom, disperse the clones. Like, there's seven birds and two squirrels over there. It's like, well, and he looks over and he's like, you're right. It's like, yes, the clones actually, whatever the clone learns, um, you learn back. You get the feedback from it, which makes it, if you were to make a large mass of them, uh, which actually would be a boon for training, he explains. And, you know, Naruto's like, cool, let me try. And Naruto puts too much chakra, and even though he's got much better chakra control, he suddenly makes ten clones out of the blue, and Kakashi's just like, it's like, huh? It's like, what? Well, it's like, whoa. It's like, is, was that too many? Dad? It's like, how? Are you, are you okay, son? It's like, yeah, why? It's, you're you're not tired? No, no not really. Uh, and it's like, disperse those. like, okay, uh, yeah. And then, it's like, are, are you? It's like, how you feeling? It's like, I'm good. <laughs> it's like, mm. it's like, I knew he had a lot of chakra. It's like, tell Then they're going to practice. It's like, how many clones can you make? Uh, make? Well, let me try. It's like, let me pump as much shock as you can. And then all of a sudden, the 2,000 are toes are there. It's like, in Kakashi, just like, it's like, uh, that, that, you know, you those popping like this, it might like break your brain a bit. So I was like, and he's like, whoa, feedback. So there's that. Two other things. I think Kakashi, while not really going into the element training, would at least see what Naruto's element is. I think, and we'll find out it's wind, obviously. So he would say, you know, and, uh, you might be young, you might be young for this, but I was, I learned my element manipulation pretty early on too. So it's just, and so did your dad. So I think it's, I'm, stu we're gonna guess. Um, so I think it's only fair that you learn it too. So and then he does that. So the first exercise is cutting the leaf with your chakra. And Naruto would do it initially. To be fair, he'd have much better chakra control now than he would that even in Shibuden. Well, not in Shibuden, but even. Initially, I think there's like the most minute nick. Now remember, you know, and he says, "Hey, remember, your clones can also learn it too. I can practice too." So it's like, "Oh, that's right. Just don't do too many, or you'll do just burn yourself out." Last but not least, is like uh, he would also says, "We're also going to start doing some uh, sword training, some kendo training." Being part of the Yambu, I was actually quite skilled with it. It's like, "Oh, I remember you had that." This is really, oh yes, the white, the white thing, chakra saber. Uh, or white char uh, white light chakras everywhere. Was there anyone from the hut? Uh, anyone from my dad? It's like that was so cool. It's like I wish you could have seen it. And then Kakashi just has a thoughtful look. It's like, hmm, maybe someday. It's like, but I thought I broke. Eh, well, anything's possible. Anyway, shut up and fight. And then he's gonna. St so that's basically gonna be it. Naruto's gonna be pro working on um, well, outside the academy, wind jutsu, uh, some wind training, and he'll probably know like the the standard gale palm jutsu by the time he's we're done with the academy. Uh, he's going to be working on some kendo. He's going to be working on the, the shadow clones. And he's going to be working on the other jutsu and chakra control. So the three years pass and we get to a graduation. And I'm going to try to end. I'm probably going to end this in the next three or four minutes. Because um, we're, we're reaching the part where I was going to end it anyway. So if we reach the graduation. It's like today's uh, and, the, and then the exam is on the clone jutsu. Which I'm I, that couldn't have been the only damn thing they had to know but whatever point being if it wasn't naruto knows all the three academy jutsus jutsus yeah jutsus jeez <laughs> try saying that jutsus 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 anywho so naruto uh, goes up and it's like i can't uh, do the this jutsu the, but it, can it be another clone jutsu you know another one it's like well the rules don't say anything it just says a clone jutsu so yeah you can do it and then he just does yeah kind of Set ten shackles like shadow clones like ah oh, you you pass it's like whoa then you know goes that music he's like damn oh well by the way I should note that Naruto is not the top of his class Sasuke would still be the top guy in the class but or the top shinobi in the class with Sokka being the top Kanoichi Naruto would be definitely in the upper half like like here's the bottom here's that here's the top Naruto would be right around here reason for that is while he's still well he's a lot smarter he's still not book smart. He excels in like the physical and, he, and everything along those lines, but it, the book smart is what really lowers him down. Other than that, there's you know, he's still he's still fine. So you know, Kusto, they get out and he graduates and he sees Kakashi and Jiraiya and a couple of the other you know, his, you know, guys there and, and even I'd imagine because uh, Team Seven's been uh, Team Team sorry Team Ten's been around before then. He's probably met uh, Neji, Ten Ten, and Rock Lee once or twice now, and they are even there. It's like congratulations, Naruto. Hey, we're all right now. We're gonna be ninjas together. All right. It's like yes, we're in, and your and your father and godfather have you know have arranged. Is said uh, we're going out for dinner. It's like ramen. It's like no, it's, uh, well, uh, we can have ramen in our, in our time. We're celebrating as a group, <laughs> so. Um, 
uh, yeah, they'll go to like a barbecue house and they'll have a yeah, you know, have a good time. And both Jirai and Kakashi would want to give um, uh, and I, well, actually, I think they would all give at least uh, some um, some sort of like graduation. I mean, Neji and Rock Lee would probably just get get them uh, some like um. To waits or a guy <laughs> probably would try to give him the green spandex suits like and it was like thanks I, I you know what I don't want to get this dirty so I am gonna say nonsense the sweat the dirt and sweat of life is what is the true beauty of the world it's like uh thanks Tento would probably give him a set like kunai and stuff like that which he would be really thankful for Jiraiya I think would give him uh, some sealing techniques like a couple seals for him to work on in practice because being a new Uzumaki they were seal masters. Uh, and he, and uh, Kakashi would then bring out a box, a box, a long box, like roughly this long, give or take. Like you can't see it, but yes, yeah, so a a long thing. I was like, what? I'm wondering, is like, is it in there? And then he looks in there, he's like, wow. Is it? and then he sees like the the. I'm going to. Just, I'm, we're going to argue for the sake of sake that the white light chakra saber was uh, engraved with the Hatake clan symbol or whatever. He's like, is this? Is it? Is this? Is, and even guys like. You had it reforged, Kakashi. He's like, and I, I did. Like, but I did. it's like, wow. And it's like, <laughs> ten, ten sides and just go, Ooh, that's the white one. Da, da, da. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. It's like, I thought it was, yeah, I had it reforged. I, I figured it's, I figured it should stay in the family and you're, and you're my son. It's time to pass it down to the next generation. It's like, wow. And then he pulls out and realizes, like, wait, dad, I thought it was a Tanta. It's like, yeah, I, 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 it was. But when I had it reforged and I realized I was training you, it's like, what do you think those Kendall lessons were for? Or that those sword lessons were for? But then he also explains that because he was training with larger sword, when he had the sword reforged, he forged it more into closer to a katana, not quite a katana's length, but longer than a wakazashi. There is no real sword length that's between those two, but somewhere in the middle. So it's more like a shortened katana, more or less. It's like, wow, it's like, thanks, Dad. And it's like, it's like what? So now you got Naruto who wields a relatively, a shark saber, you know, turned into katana, basically. Intent to gel, just gel. It's like you lucky bastard. Uh, so later that night, Mizuki tries to seal the sacred scroll, and that doesn't go anywhere. Naruto doesn't even get involved, uh, and that is because we kind of learn or later in the fillers that Mizuki really he lost to Naruto. Come on, Naruto who had lost in the who had not just because he learned one jutsu, and he got over. Granted, he got overwhelmed in numbers. Mizugi, Mizugi, you know, Mizugi wasn't the strongest. I mean, he was he was a fine, but I imagine like Anbu and stuff would eventually catch him anyway. Cut to end. Then Naruto meets Konohamaru. That that scenario goes about the same. I do believe that Naruto does know the sexy jutsu because they figure he'd learn it to mess with his dad, who is a pervert. <laughs> Kakashi is a pervert. Uh, but it's it's just him going to get his photo taken. Nothing. No, none of that makeup stuff. Uh, and then, you know, Konohamaru just is like, oh, what about this, 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 uh, you know, train me, and blah, 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 blah. And we're going to end it off with them getting their teams. And the teams are staying the same, including Kakashi still being their team leader. Uh, so, yeah, nothing's uh, nothing has changed in that sense. But a lot has changed in the in the Naruto world. Kakashi is not is Naruto is Kakashi's son. The village overall looks at him fondly. He, he's the son of. He's basically the adopted son of the uh, of the son of the. Uh, was it Silverfang? Uh, yeah, Silverfang. Kono Silverfang. I called him. And yeah, he's he's a relatively capable shinobi in his own right. He's probably roughly in the high tuning, uh, high getting level when it comes to his hand to hand. Chakra levels are always been immense. Uh, his stealth is pretty good. He's got a couple jutsu already down. He's competent with a sword, so it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting where we play this off. But this is gonna be one of those ones. This is not getting finished in this week. This is probably gonna be one of the ones that gets. Uh, I'm gonna be on for quite some time. So anyway, thanks for watching though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. I just would win Star Wars Super Magic. What if anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do a review of it at some point as well. Uh, what if again will be up on Thursday tomorrow as well as Friday and throughout the rest of the week. And Jurassic World will be up tomorrow. Hopefully Mark will actually be able to do a review with me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you.